Hey guys, it's me, Nikki Rudd, ASMR Plus. If you want to know how I got this look, I used the Amaris, I'm going to butcher this, Amrezi palette. Um, this idea to use the palette was Makeup by Mandy. It's a gorgeous palette. If you don't know who she is, please check her out. Um, she's the one I'm doing the collab with. That's her channel. I'll leave her in the description box below. Okay, let's get started. I already put wasted just below my uh, eyebrow bone. I'm going into OG at this point. It's more of an orangey color. And I zoomed in, got some powder underneath my eyes that I can wipe away after uh, placing OG. And I want to blend this out. I'm just using a simple um, blending brush from Wet n Wild. Nothing too crazy. And as you can see, I blend out all the way back to my brow, not past it, to where it ends. Again, just adding more OG, getting it really thoroughly blended through. is New Yorker, New Yorker, New Yorker. <laughs> Very similar to OG, but I blend that as well underneath OG. going into 1988. Um, there it is. I actually pointed at the wrong one at first, but yeah, 1988. It's a darker brown. And this one's going to go in the crease, and I will blend. I tried to do an up close a few times. Um, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that it came with, because the bristles were a little more like, uh, I guess you could say, <sighs> smudgy. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. Again, this is my first time doing a professional type or style video for makeup, so bear with me if the angles and the lighting isn't just the best. This is the cut crease part, and it's going to take quite a while, so let's go um, back to the music. Oh, and that color's called Leo. By the way, I'm using a hard candy brush because I like the tip. It's tough. Putting in my Urban Decay foundation. Here we go. Putting on, rather. Oh, yes, and as you can see, um, you open up your eye and you leave a dot where it is right above the crease, and that's how you know where to start your cut crease.
that'll let it dry. Um, sometimes you have to add setting powder in case you put maybe just a little bit too much or it's not drying as fast as you'd like. I feel that it sets it nicely. Do, 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 do. Sorry. At this point, I've run out of music. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just setting it and we're gonna start putting on the pretty color Leo. A lot of times during cut creases I like to pat down the color, but um, with the ABH palette um, it actually is quite good when you just put it on like normal shadow. Um, the pigment really shows through um, without having to tap or dab it on. It was quite nice. I like the color. from Makeup by Mandy. Thank you again, girl. Tight lining my lash with Maybelline uh, with liquid liner and then of course my L'Oreal pencil for the water lines. Makeup is definitely um, an art form, for sure. Um, it is definitely, you gotta love it in order to want to do it, because it's very tedious. Um, that is Benefit, Bear Real, and then um, Urban Decay. Shoot, I forgot the name of it. These are tart lashes. I only use tart, by the way. Duo glue, of course, of course, of course. And um, I love editing, by the way. You have no idea how long it took me to get these lashes on. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, I cut the tips. Always cut the tips. And voila. 